Now, from the makers of Cold Water Omo. Inside his vault, where Lord Mansford had been spending an hour looking at his art treasures, the space sound began. The roar increased. Lord Mansford clapped his hands over his ears. The whole house seemed filled with the screaming sound. Then everything happened at once. There was a blinding flash. Ah! The vault clock rang and the door slid open. Jenkins and Mrs. Peel rushed into the vault. Uh, this way, Mrs. Peel. There. He must be. There he is. In the corner. That can't be Lord Mansford. He, he's changed. But it was Lord Mansford. His face was rigid, lifeless. His hair and mutton chop moustache vividly white. The Avengers. <laughs> John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. Once an Omo user, always an Omo user. Because it gets out the worst dirt and stains. Mrs. Francis of Port Elizabeth found that Omo cleaned her husband's bathing trunk. He used to come home and they'd be marked and splodged with tar and uh, oil from our beaches. Well, he wanted to throw them away. So, well, he'd soak them over now from cold water Omo. And the next day they were shimmering height again. Cold water Omo cleans best. Over a million South African housewives have proved it. Wall's Ice Cream presents the new Pink Pussycat song. We've got strawberry and vanilla, half and half. That's our new type. White milky chocolate the way you like. All over the outside, we're Wall's Pink Pussycat now. Uh -huh. Episode 4 of this story, in which John Steed and Emma Peel become aware that the British Venusian Society is in need of money, and that all contributions are gratefully received from Venus with love. Emma Peel was completely confused by the activities of the British Venusian Society. Acting upon instructions from John Steed, she'd been trying to get in touch with outside members of the Society. They were usually rich, influential members. And by the time Mrs. Peel got to them, they were usually dead. John Steed, on the other hand, was having a far less strenuous time and should have known exactly what was going on. He didn't. Although he'd so far passed all the membership tests and met a few of the members, including the eccentric Dr. Primble. But the two heads of the organization still seemed to be Crawford, a radio astronomer who made it clear that he didn't like Steed, and Venus Brown, the society's secretary, who made it clear that she did. At least Steed thought that was the impression he was getting. One thing was sure, Venus was living up to her name. Is that drink to your taste, Mr. Steed? Delectable. A little more ice? Oh, it's so hot today. I mix the drink myself, though only I know the ingredients. What do you think is in it? It um, couldn't be a love potion. Well, there is passion fruit in it. Oh, splendid. Well, let's get down to things. Already, before it's had a chance to work. Down to business. Dr. Primble says you've uh, passed all the tests. That's right. All reactions normal and ready to go. He also says that you have special shots of films taken with an astro camera. 
which will be of interest to our society. Oh? Oh, I don't know, just amateur fumbling at the moment. You're not good at it. Amateur fumbling? Well, I suppose uh, I am amateur, you know. British Venusian Society, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is it possible to speak to Mr. John Steed, please? Very well. Hold on. For you, Mr. Steed, a woman. Ah, well, they dog my footsteps, you know. It's for passion fruit. Mm. Hello? Steed? Ah, Aphrodite. When did you get back? Steed, what are you talking about? Can you meet me straight away? Charmed. Lord Mansford's house. It's happened again, Steed. Again? Yes. I am. A Greek girl, I know. Just popped out of the sea. Insists that we meet. Oh, excuse me, won't you? Uh, bye, Miss Brown, or may I call you Venus? Bye for now. In Lord Mansford's home, Mrs. Peel stood with Jenkins the butler in front of the open vault. They were looking at some photographic prints when Steed joined them. Tragedy, a dreadful tragedy. How could it have happened? Photos of the scene of the crime? Yes. Strangely enough, yes. Lord Mansford kept all his art treasures in there. There was this door which sealed the place off. Yeah, when the young lady arrived, Lord Mansford was having a quiet hour with his collection. The timing device on the door was set to let him out at exactly one o'clock. One o'clock came and zoom. The usual story. We got in to find him dead. These... Print is taken by an automatic security camera set inside the vault door. Mm-hmm. Looks familiar. Mm. Like a like a fireball against a dark background. Like the shots from Sir Frederick Hadley's camera and the cover of Venus Brown's book. Let's have a closer look. Steed walked into the vault and examined the gaping hole in the vault wall. Six inches of solid steel. What the devil could have cut through that? Something did. Something more powerful than we can guess. The New Zealand? I've seen so many strange sights like this in the last few days. Who knows? After all, we've got to the moon. Something's bound to arrive here one day. Has anything leaked out? Not a word. Complete security block. And that duty rotor? There's still one man left alive. Brigadier Whitehead. Whitehead? You're asking for trouble with a name like that. Did you get in touch with him? Tried. His phone must be permanently off the hook. Brigadier Whitehead's phone was off the hook. The brigadier was working. That meant he was living in the past, or rather, reliving past glories. Working on his memoirs, not writing a book, compiling a soundtrack. Ah, uh, yes, that's about the volume I want. Now, where was I? Yes. Microphone on. That's it. As you can hear, gentlemen, zero hour is fast approaching. Invasion is imminent. We must counterattack without delay. You had your operational orders. You, Major Collins, will lead the first battalion. You, Captain Smith, will follow through with the second. And you, Lieutenant, will command the support company. Brigadier Whitehead drew himself up to his full height and clicked his heels into the nearest microphone. That's all, gentlemen, and good luck. The brigadier whipped smartly over to a bank of turntables, selected one, and started it under his next speech. As my officers departed, I drove up to the front. Shells were exploding all round. Now, let me see. Where did I put that damn record of the shells? Oh, yes, here we are. The inferno broke out. And suddenly, all the guns were silent. There was just the grey sky and the mud. Not a sound. Bring it up. Bring it up, At last. Come in. I'm so sorry to disturb you, Brigadier. I did ring the doorbell. There seems to be quite a bit of noise going on. Uh, yes, quite. Oh, by the looks of the place, I'm intruding. I... But your phone is off the hook. I know. It was taken off the hook. Oh, I see. You're uh, still on your memoirs. How's it coming on? Oh, very well, very well. Uh, I have new equipment. Hope to cut a long player on the invasion of Italy. Now, I got to the point where we just landed at Catania. <laughs> 
Yes, it was at this point that a messenger drove up. Let me show you. Now, just hold this pickup and put it on when I tell you. Now. I tore open the dispatch. <clears throat> News. Bad. I'd lost my battalion commander. I had to reach Ogul. I grabbed the messenger's bike and raced towards headquarters. Suddenly, under the wheels, a grenade exploded. Drop the pickup. Now. Oh, no. I jumped for cover. This? No, 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 no. Wrong effect. Cut. Oh. Better take a break. Care for a drink, Venus? I'd uh, rather have a generous contribution to the society's funds. Another contribution? Well, if we're to launch our satellite... You've yes. already had 20,000. That wouldn't even pay the fuel bill. Yeah, it would pay a few of mine. Mm, listen, Brigadier, I'm only a woman. No, 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 none of that. Before I dig any deeper, I'd like a peep at the accounts. Accounts? Treasurer's report. Hadley and Mansford are of the same mind... We'd like to see where the money is going. Where do you think it's going? Oh, you are touchy. Well, if that's the way you're thinking, I'd better leave. No, 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 no. No, no, no need to be like that. And, uh, uh, look, uh, I can't make watch duty tonight. I'm working on the Battle of Palermo. You know, I, I almost bought it there. Had the luck of the devil. Well, I hope it stays with you. Second time round. Goodbye. <laughs> Steed decided to call on Brigadier Whitehead himself. About time he did a bit of outside work, Steed. He drove up to the house and parked his car conveniently near the trees. As he moved toward the house, he noticed Venus Brown disappearing along the wooded drive, her long legs briskly carrying her shapely figure out of view round the bend. There was a burst of machine gun fire. Steve dropped into the nearest bushes. I pulled out the pin of the grenade and hurled it into the dugout. Steve picked himself out of the bushes. The enemy was still advancing, and then... Then, suddenly, a reverberating sound was heard. Had Mrs. Peel been there, she would surely have recognized it. Light dazzled Steve's eyes. Steed instinctively placed an arm over his eyes. There was a muffled roar. And a scream from the brigadier. Ah! Sounds as though his luck didn't last a second time round after all. Up. Haven't you tried new sunlight liquid yet? Should I? Yes, because new sunlight liquid gives you real economy. It's proved the most economical dishwasher. One teaspoonful washes a whole sinkful of dishes sunlight clean. Sunlight clean? Right. A fresh, sparkling cleanness you've never known before. Why fresh? That's the lemon juice. And sparkling? Because it's concentrated. New sunlight liquid gives you the greatest grease-cutting power. For sparkling dishes every time. There's no dirt that can stand up to the cleaning power of cold water Omo. If you use cold water Omo, it comes out very, very easily indeed. There's Mrs. Sutherland of the Inneken. Once an Omo user, always an Omo user. It cleans best. Avengers. Listen every evening, Monday to Friday, to John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. 
brought to you by the makers of Coldwater Omo.